good afternoon, good morning, um, whatever time it may be for you. Um, I'm Zach with USMC Reefer. Um, this box is from Chewy.com. Um, they have started to be a, I guess, um, a company that you can start buying stuff from. So, as a lot of you know or follow my channel uh, whatsoever, um, you've known that I had to go fallow for you know a couple months because uh, my tank got eradicated. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I pretty much got wiped out by ick. Um, so, let it go fallow for a couple months. I uh, put all my fish through some quarantine now, and you know I have three tanks in my tank now, and um, saw a couple spots on um, my lieutenant tank. So um, I know people, there's a the great debate in the hobby right now about if uh, UV sterilizers um, combat it or whatever. I haven't had a full blown um, you know bust out of it again. But I'm going to go ahead and put this UV sterilizer on my tank and I'm going to walk you guys through um, someone that knows nothing about putting these on. So um, Chewy sells, um, I know a lot of uh, people know Jabo. Um, I, I have a return pump from them. I have the 12,000. I bought their lower uh, return pump. I think it's like 800 gallons per hour and their UV sterilizer. So we're going to go ahead and set that up and uh, show you guys the unboxing and the setup of it. So this might be a little bit longer video because I don't edit a, a super lot. So. All right, guys. Uh, unboxed. Got this uh, J-Bo. It's the DCP. Uh, 3000 um, it's for marine and freshwater and then this is the UV sterilizer uh, for it says it's good for salt water and fresh water it's uh, you know a lot of people put these on ponds um, so this is Jbo makes it they make a lot of other really expensive inexpensive things such as their power heads and return pumps and stuff like that so um, this unit is pretty hefty um, you got uh, the hose um, fittings uh, for the return. I am going to use, uh, initially I'm going to use uh, soft plumbing to plumb this up. Um, but this is a, a pretty hefty unit. I mean, uh, this probably weighs every bit uh, with this, uh, with the power cable and everything, probably um, 10 pounds. So, um, I'm going to mount this inside of my tank um, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. All right, guys, I'm going to, before I install this, uh, I know this video might be a little bit of uh, everywhere, but the instructions to these things absolutely are garbage. Um, so after watching videos online about UV sterilizers and things, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run you through the anatomy of this thing real quick. Um, so it looks like if you if you buy this particular model, it's going to run you about seventy bucks. Um, this is where your light bulb is going to be, right here. Um, I took this off, and it seems like the power cord is pretty flimsy. So it's almost like better to turn the unit rather than turning the cord because it looks like the cord's about to fray off. But here's your bulb. Um, I did not see any replacements direct from Jabo uh, for the lights. So you might have to find a different company. Uh, that, that I do not know. Um, this is gonna be right here is gonna be a viewing lens. Um, this is gonna be uh, so you can look on the top and see if your, um, if your unit's still working, your light bulb's still on. That's just a viewing port. And then here is going to be an, in, um, an inlet and an outlet uh, for uh, your water. So, mounting screws, you got four mounting screws, which are probably placed, probably, uh, and this is going to be, I'm probably going to have to use two screws for where it's going to go on my stand. But, uh, I mean, that's looking every bit of like five inches, probably spaced in between. Um, 
And this cord is absolutely the longest cord you'll ever see in your life. This thing has got to be 13 feet long. It's crazy. I've never seen a cord that long. But um, it says, though, in here in the instructions, which is pretty nice, uh, the only thing it does tell you is that um, it'll take uh, three quarters, one inch, um, 11 slash four, which whatever that is, and 11 slash two, whatever that is. Um, so maybe that's some international tubing I've never heard of, but, uh, it goes up bigger. So I'm guessing that maybe close to an inch and a half, maybe two inches. But, um, so if you need, if you need something that big, probably won't for an aquarium, but some people might. So, uh, now I brought you to the anatomy. Let's get this thing installed on the tank. All right, guys. So I'm not going to do an install video. There's plenty of people that do an install video for these uh, UV sterilizers. It's super, super simple. Um, you have a pump down in your sump that shoots water up through, goes through uh, your UV sterilizer and back down. And I put it into my return pump chamber. So that's pretty, uh, pretty easy. All you need is an outlet um, to run the power to. I got one two um, hose clamps to put on to those at Home Depot um, and I've got I got this which is doesn't come with it I got the this piping at Home Depot also uh, you might want to go with black piping just to prevent algae issues um, from maybe um, your refugium light uh, so I'm gonna use handheld and both with this just for the simple fact of kind of showing you guys around but um, if you see a different shirt or anything like this, I've had this installed for probably about a week and a half. Um, and, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the, the light works. Um, a weird thing, if you plug this thing in, um, the light bulb will not work unless it's actually installed in the unit. It's like a fail safe. So if you plug it in and with the light bulb out, it will not turn on unless you have it actually inside of the unit. Um, it's just some type of like safety feature that they have on it but um I'm trying to pick this up so this is my sup area it might get this is touch loud but um i have it running down to that uh 3000 pump that i told you it is coming up through um the piping through my uv sterilizer and it's coming down and i have it going into um my return chamber to be 100% honest, it takes a little dirty, I just did my maintenance on it, but to be 100% completely honest, um, I have not seen a difference at all in, um, I guess, algae on the glass or anything like that. Um, this little guy still has a couple spots on his fin. Hopefully that gets better, um, but uh, I haven't seen a, a massive difference, um, so I'm going to give it time. I'm not going to say that it doesn't work, um, but I'm just going to give it a little time. This is the 36-watt version of, of, of it, so um, Jabo doesn't make bad stuff. Uh, as you guys can see, down here I've got their three... Gosh, dang it. The handheld thing. I've got the 3,000. Um, I've got their 12,000 return pump. And I have their dosing pump over here that I, I use all the time. So um, I haven't had one issues with any of that. So we'll see how their UV sterilizer works. Uh, I'm up for trying new things uh, about budget friendly things. So uh, we're gonna try this out guys. So um, like I said, I told you guys on the last video, if you just watched it a couple days ago, we'll be doing an update on this, uh, this tank. Um, the new tank is pretty much uh, coming. Um, I've got everything. Just gonna wait till I get back from my honeymoon with the wife to install that, and then I have a lot of cool stuff that's going into that tank too. Never thought I'd be so excited about a 25 gallon tank, but I am. So, anyways, guys, this is Zach with uh, USMC Reefer. Got any questions? Leave it in the comments below. Um, if you have it subscribe to my channel uh, i got a lot more content coming out so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh this video at all uh, i guess told you i was going to take you through the progression of this tank 
And um, so that's what I'm doing, just showing you the little things that I've installed. So, um, all right, guys, well, I appreciate your time. And uh, if you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. I'll uh, talk to you guys on the next one. See you guys.